Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are doing a very exciting video. We are doing the Jeffree Star Mystery Unboxing. So, this literally, I just got home a couple hours ago and this was on my table and I was like, I have to do this tonight. And I'm so excited about it and I wanted to open it on camera for you guys, get my full reaction. And at the end, I'm going to go on the Jeffree Star website and look up all the products and then get the total of the box. This one was the $60 box. I also have a box coming on Monday and that was the $20 box. So I got two different ones, but they came at two different times. But whatever, I'd rather get one sooner than them both late. I did start an Instagram page just for this channel, so it shows upcoming videos like I already posted as soon as I got home, and I'm filming this tonight and blah blah blah, so if you want first sneak peek on what I'm going to be doing, then go hop over there. Um, I will leave the link in the bio below, it's just Erica Pike Official, that's it, and yeah, so go hop over there and follow me. I have not seen any spoilers that are going to be in this box, so I'm very excited. I do know that there will be the um, mystery shade. I'm pretty sure you get the mystery shade in this box. So yeah, I'm really excited. I really have no idea what's going to be in here. I don't have much makeup on right now, so um, it's kind of crazy how I'm waving this around. Um, yeah, so I don't know much about the box so um, I'm gonna do swatches and then I can try it on and then we'll hop on his website see how much they retail for alright so I'm gonna cut into it with my knife this one I believe we were supposed to get five items the $20 one that's coming on Monday I believe you're only supposed to get three so I got eight items total for about $80. That was with shipping and tax and everything else. So, all right. So right when we open it up, it looks like this, pretty pink. All right. So I see a little bit of sneak peek stuff in there. All right. All right. The first thing I'm pulling out is this pop socket. It is orange, and I hate the color orange. It's, I hate that color. I might put this on my phone. I have a palm tree one right now in my pineapple case. I might put it on, but mm, I don't know. Let's pull out this one. Ooh. Is this the mystery one? Oh, no, this one's the mystery one. Okay. So, Jeffrey's Girl. That's this one, and this is a lip ammunition. Okay, this is what it looks like. Beautiful. I don't own one of these. I have Blood Sugar Palette, the Thirsty Palette. Um, I have a concealer. I repurchased the concealer, and I have the Jeffree Star Powder. And I also bought the... Um, strawberry something lip scrub I bought one of them but that's gonna be an upcoming video where I'm trying new to me things a full face of that so I'm saving that for that but this is Jeffrey's girl okay this was out in the heat you can see there's a lot of condensation on it It doesn't really, condensation doesn't really bother me that much, as long as there's nothing poking me like some other releases we've seen, I'm, I'll be fine. Super cute, a little bold for me, but this packaging is adorable though, I love this. Alright, next, can't relate, this is a Velour Liquid Lipstick. Ooh, I didn't know this packaging looked like this. Do they all look like this? I didn't know that. This is 
beautiful. This is like beautiful packaging. I didn't know that it looked like this. It's all glittery, even the top, all the way around. I don't think that these normally look like this. Am I crazy? We'll have to look online, but this is literally so cute. It's literally just sparkly all over. Okay, let's swatch this. This is in Can't Relate. Now this is more my color. This one right here is Can't Relate. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe this packaging. I swear, if they're all like this, I have to get more of these. Like, this is the prettiest packaging ever. Like, how could you resist that? Like, that's just so pretty. Okay, I'm going to save the... This is another Velour Liquid Lipstick in the Mystery shade. This is exclusive just for the box. He says it's a very wearable shade, so we'll see. But um, next to last, we have the Liquid Frost. Okay, and this is in Ice Clean. Ooh. Too much on my hand. There it is right there. Let's see. <gasps> that is literally crazy look at that kind of has like an icy base and then pinkish purple glitters all throughout it so pretty okay last let's do the mystery one I'm kind of sad that these were all like lip heavy and there was only one highlight. I was hoping to get one of those big highlighters. You can use it for like eyeshadow or highlight. Okay, this is what it looks like. I like this. Okay. That one, that one went on a lot waterier. That one's very watery. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or it needs mixed up. It might just supposed to be like that. Actually, no. It, yeah, it definitely needed mixed up a little bit. I don't know really what happened. But that's after I like turned the doe foot around in it to kind of mix up the product. That's what it came out like, but that was the first swatch. And it's just very, um, it's like very runny. I don't know if you can see that. Let's do that with this one. Yeah. You can tell it was very watery. It definitely needed mixed up. Alright, so I went on the Jeffree Star website. And instead of the mystery one, because obviously he doesn't have that one on there, I just added the fully nude one. Um, which is $18. So this has a value of $18. And then the Can't Relate one, which is this one with the really pretty packaging. And I was looking at it, and I don't know where I've been, but this is how it, like, looks. What the pictures don't do it justice, I'm sure my crappy camera doesn't do it justice, but, like, it is literally beautiful. Like, it just looks like that all over the entire thing like even up here like in person it just looks amazing like why doesn't he do all his packaging like this like don't get me wrong he has some cute packaging like if this just had some glitter all over it who doesn't love glitter that just doesn't fall all over you like anyway moving on these two lipsticks are $18 a piece. And then the lip ammunition, um, this is also $18. And then the liquid frost is $25. Plus the pop socket, which he doesn't have, have on his website, but these normally 
cost $10. That's what I've always bought all mine for is $10. So it, the grand total comes out to so be $89. I paid $60 for the box. I really hope I don't get the same color pop socket in my $20 one. Honestly, I will be kind of upset. And I don't know what was up with that mystery shade at first. You can see it like was very watery. This one was the one where after I mixed it up and you can see how that one's very pigmented. But this one came out really watery. Yeah, so I've never tried Jeffrey's lipsticks, so or any of his lip stuff, I guess. Um so I'm very excited to try these three and they're not too crazy out of my comfort zone like it's not black or green or anything crazy like I can work with it. This um, Jeffree's Girl though, I'm going to have to put like a nude lipstick over top of that because that just scares me. But this, it's not an everyday shade um, just because it is so pink, but I wonder how that would actually look on your eyes. Oh, did you just hear my bones crack? Here we go. Can you even see it? I don't even think you can see it. Maybe I'll wear it tomorrow and I'll see how what I think about it with an eyeshadow. Okay, so we are doing Can't Relate. And I think this one's actually one that I would like wear the most. Actually, I kind of like his. I th actually think that that looks really cute. I don't know, my lips, like it's almost the color of my lips, but it's just like a little bit neuter but it's not like too nude like I look crazy like you know those nudes that are just way too light and it's just like why is my lips lighter than my foundation you know like that yeah it actually looks really good I think that I would wear this color a lot all right next we're doing the mystery shade I literally suck at putting lipstick on I don't think this shade looks good on me, in all honesty. I think I look weird. But yeah, I just feel like, ugh, see, like, I feel like I look like Miranda Sings or something. A pink version, because I can't stay in the line. Alright, last one. Are these supposed to smell? You know, I wish this one was the one that was called can't relate because I just can't relate with this one. The packaging is so pretty and it's going to sit on my vanity, but I might try to wear this one time and then I'm going to end up taking it off because I can't do it. Like I feel like I just look crazy. I can't relate with this one. I wish this one was can't relate instead of Jeffrey's girl because I want to be Jeffrey's girl, but I don't, I can't relate to this. So, Jeffrey, could you, like, switch the name? Be this one to Jeffrey's Girl, because this one's my favorite, and then do this one, Can't Relate, because I can't relate with it. Can we do that? <laughs> Just kidding. You will never see this video. Like, never. And if he did, I would probably be embarrassed, because... Just weird. But, thank you for watching. For an upcoming video, I need comments of a foundation you want me to try and a concealer you want me to try. It's going to be a video on new to me makeup. I have everything except foundation and concealer. Okay. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Come back next time. Follow me on my Instagram. Like, subscribe, comment. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Bye.